Hi and welcome to Fluff Up! In this video I am going to needle felt one of the circus mice from the movie Coraline. To start, I make a little ball of wool and pierce it with the needle until the fibers tangle enough to add more layers. Once I had a little base for the body, I used pipe cleaners to form the legs and the tail. Since the mouse's legs are so thin, I chose pipe cleaners to give it strength without having to make them too thick. After I had them in the right shape, I covered them in a layer of wool so that I can then attach them to the base of the body. Bobinski's mice are very round, so I had to keep adding layers of wool to make the right shape. process for the face, adding little balls of wool to build the shape faster. Once I was closer to what I wanted, I started adding brown wool to make the mouse's fur. For the ears, I made little round balls of wool, making them thicker on the outside so that they would have the right shape. I then attached them onto the head. Once I got most of the body done, I started on the arms. They were so thin that I chose to cover the pipe cleaners with the color of the jacket. So, I used red and a little bit of white for the paws. I left half an inch of the pipe cleaner uncovered and opened a hole on the body so that I could attach it that way. Then, I tangled the wool around the pipe cleaner until it was firm enough to stay. I started on the coat by making flat pieces of felt. I made two so that I would be able to put it around the arms and then connect it on the back. I used an awl to open space for the arms and then pulled the coat through. I then felted it all together making sure to cover the gaps around the arms so that it would look like a full coat. For the eyes, I didn't want buttons, since that would mean that they are the other mother's minions and not the real mice. So, instead, I used these doll's eyes that have a screw in the back. I used the awl to open space for the eyes and then push them in. 
Next, I pierced the wool around it so that it would tangle and grab onto the screw. I made little details with pink wool, like the inside of the ears and the nose. I use very little amounts of wool and add more only if I need it. Once the coat and the body are ready, I can work on the hat. I made a vague oval shape and covered it in red wool. I then tightened the top and bottom to make it more of a cylinder. For the visor, I made a flat circle of wool and covered it in black. Once I had secured it onto the head, I started working on the final details in white wool. And here is one of Bobinski's mice from the movie Coraline. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching!